And whatever. And all is indifference, how dare you. Diversity is our strength. There are no differences. We're all the same. Diversity you know, is wonderful. Anyway. <coughs> now that we... If, that we offended everyone and all you aren't offended anymore <laughs> are still here watching the video and let's get into it Abraham was very old and the Lord had blessed him in every way he said to the senior servant of in his household the one in charge of all that he had Put your hand under my thigh. I want you to swear by the Lord, the God of heaven, <coughs> and the God of earth, that you will not get a wife for my son from the daughters of the Canaanites. <coughs> among whom I'm living, but will go to my country and my own relatives and get a wife for my son Isaac. <coughs> the servant asked him, What if the woman is unwilling to come back with me to this land? Shall I then take your son back to the country you came from make sure that you do not take my son back there Abraham said the Lord God of heaven who brought me out of my father's household and my native land and who spoke to me and promised me on oh saying to your offspring I will give you I to your offspring I will give this land. He will send an angel before you so that you can get a wife for my son there. If the woman is unwilling to come back with you, then you will be released from this oath of mine. Only do not take my son back there. Hmm. So, oh, the servant put his hand under the thigh of his, ma th thigh of his master Abraham and swore an oath to him concerning this matter. Then the servant left, taking with him ten of his master's camels. So, in other words, if the woman says, I'm willing, listen, people. The servant's free from the oath. <coughs> no one's being forced here to do anything. No woman is being forced to do anything. I know no one will be paying attention to this. Well, the offended people are probably gone anyway. Well, this is the making extra sure. Anyway, taking his master's camels loaded with all kinds of good things from his master, he sent out for, uh, for Aram, Aram, and Naharam. And made his way to way to the town of Nahor. He had the camels and down near the well outside the town. It was towards evening, the time women women go out to draw water. Then he prayed, "Lord God, my master Abraham, make oh no." Lord God of my master Abraham, make 
me successful today and show kindness to my master Abraham. See that see I am standing beside this spring and the daughters of the townspeople are coming to coming out to draw water. May it be that when I say to a young woman, please let down your jar that I may have a drink and she says drink and I'll water your camels too. Let her be the one you have chosen for your servant Isaac. By this I will know that you have shown kindness to my master. Before he had finished praying, Rebecca came out with her jar on her shoulder. She was the daughter of Bethel, son of Melchah, who was the wife of Abraham's brother, Nahor. The woman was very beautiful, a virgin. No man had ever slept with her. She went down to the spring, filled her jar with filled her jar, and came up again. The servant hurried to meet her and said, Please give me a little water from your jar. Drink, my lord, she said, quickly lowering the jar to her hands and gave him a drink. Oh, this is going to be a long one. After she had given him a drink, she said, I'll draw water for your camels too until they have had enough to drink. So she quickly emptied her jar into the trough, ran back to the well to draw more water, and drew enough for all his camels. Without saying a word, the man watched her closely to learn whether or not the Lord had made his journey successful. When the camels had finished drinking, the man looked. The man took out a gold nose ring, wearing, wearing, welding, wearing, where, weighing a becca. That's about ten pounds, or about. 4.6 kilograms and two gold bracelets weighing 10 shekels and that is um a What? That's about four ounces. That is four ounces, about four ounces or f 115 grams. Okay. Then he asked, Whose daughter are you? Please tell me this. Th please tell me, is there room in your father's house for us to spend the night? She answered, I am the daughter of Bethuel, the son of that Mechel bore to Nahor. She added, We have plenty of straw and fodder, as well as a room for you to spend the night. And then the man bowed down and worshipped the Lord, saying, Praise be the Lord. No, praise be to the Lord, the God of my master Abraham, who has not abandoned his kindness and faithfulness to my master. As for me, the Lord has led me on the journey to the house of my master's relatives. The young woman ran and told her mother's household about these things. 
Now Rebekah had a brother named Leban, and he hurried out to the man <coughs> at the spring. As soon as he had seen the nose ring and the bracelets on his sister sister's arms, and had heard Rebecca tell what the man had, what the man said to her, he went out to the man and found him standing by the camels near the spring. Come, you who are blessed by the Lord, he said. Why are you standing out here? I have prepared the house and a place for the camels. So the man went to the house, and the camels were uploaded. Straw and fodder were brought for the camels, and water for him and his men to wash their feet. Then food was set before him. But he said, I will not eat until I have told you what I have to say. Then tell us, Laban said. So he said, I am Abraham's servant. The Lord has blessed my master abundantly, and he has become wealthy. He has given his sheep and cattle and sheep and cattle, silver and gold, male and female servants, and camels and donkeys. He has given him, oh, that's what it means. My master's wife, Sarah, has bore him a son in her old age, and he has given him everything he owns. And my master made me swear an oath and said, You must not get a wife for my son from the daughters of the Canaanites. Oh, wow, this is really... In whose land I live, but go back, but go to my father's family and to my own clan, and get a wife for my son. Then I asked my master, What if the woman will not come back with me? He replied, The Lord before who I have walked faithfully, I will send his angel with you and make your journey a success so that you can get a wife for my son from my own clan and from my father's family. You will be released from the from my oath if, when you go to my clan, they refuse to give her to you. Then you will be released from my oath. So there again, if the woman refuses, the servant is released from the oath, and no one's forced to go anywhere. That's I, I guess maybe Isaac, maybe not. Who knows? You get to discuss it. When I came to the spring today, I said, Lord God of my master Abraham, if you will, please grant success to the journey on which I have come. See, I am standing beside the spring. If a young woman comes out to draw water, and I say to her, please let me drink a little water from your jar. And if she says to me, drink and I'll water, and I'll draw water for your camels too. Let her be the one the Lord has chosen for my master's son. Before I finished praying in my heart, Rebecca came out with her jar on her shoulder. She went down to the spring and drew water, and I said to her, Please give me a drink. And she quickly lowered her jar from her shoulder and said, Drink, and I'll water your camels too. So I drank, and she watered the camels also. I asked her, Whose daughter are you? She said, The daughter of Bethuel, the son of Nahor, whom Mechelah, 
bore to him. Then I put the ring on her nose and the bracelets on her arms and I bowed down and worshipped the Lord. I praised the Lord, the God of my master Abraham, who had led me on the right road to get the granddaughter of my master's brother for her, his son. Now if you will show kindness and faithfulness to my master, tell me, and if not, to <coughs> tell me. <coughs> Tell me, so I may know which way to turn, Leban and Bethuel answered, This is from the Lord. We cannot say nothing to you one way or another, one way or the other. Here is Rebecca. Take her and go, and let her become the wife of your master's son, as the Lord has directed. So when Abraham's servant heard what they said, he bowed down to the ground before the Lord. Then the servant brought out gold and silver, jewelry, and articles of clothing, and gave them to Rebekah. Our clothing was hard to, you had to make each individually piece of clothing, and it was hard, it was not easy, so clothing actually was pretty expensive gift. He also gave costly gifts to her brother and her mother. Then he, then he and the men who were with him ate and drank and spent the night there. When they got up the next morning, he said, Send me on my way to my master, but her brother and her mother replied, Let the young woman remain with us ten days or so, then you may go. But he said to them, Do not detain me. Now that the Lord has granted success to my journey, send me on my way so I may go to my master. Then they said, Let's call the young woman and ask her about it. So they called Rebecca and asked her, Will you go with this man? I will go. So they sent her so they sent their sister Rebecca on her way along with her nurse and Abraham's servant and his men and they blessed Rebecca and said to her, Oh our sister may you increase to thousands upon thousands, may your offspring possess the cities of their enemies. Then Rebecca and her attendants got ready and mounted the camels and went back with the man. So the servant took Rebecca and left. Now Isaac came from Beer La. I Roy, for he was living in the Negev. He went out to the field one evening to meditate. The Hebrew meaning of this word is uncertain. And he, as he looked up, he saw camels approaching. Rebecca also looked up and saw Isaac. She got down from her camel and asked the servant, Who is that man in the field coming to meet us? He is my master, the servant answered. So she took her veil and covered herself. Then the servant told Isaac all he had done. Isaac brought her into the tent of his mother, Sarah, and he married Rebecca, so she became his wife, and he loved her. And Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. Whew! A lot to unpack there. A lot.
Have fun. Bye.